Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's going to be the Buzz versus Stock Taker. And like we said time and time again, there are a lot of uh, targets on Tweak and the Buzz's heads right now. Um, I believe this is a B tier? This is a B tier confirmed. Okay, sweet. So, of course, uh, with some of these uh, B, A, or C tiers, you know, like, all these up-and-coming players just have the targets. They want to just get the PGR win. Even if you don't necessarily win the tournament, if you get some PGR wins in your pocket, bada-bing, bada-boom. You know what I mean? That, that's what you want. And it's an especially good look for Stocktaker, who, as of recent, has been able to travel a bit more. And he placed fairly well at the most recent Glitch event. He did fairly well at Super Smash Con. But yeah. to do well in his own backyard is a really good look. And he's beaten to Buzz, I believe, once before. Ooh, that is... Wow, that's Not nice. something a lot of players can say. I do think this is a very good matchup for Wolf, um, in my opinion. Uh, your, your Nair just, wow, very, very good two-frame coming out from the Buzz with that down air. We've seen the Buzz time and time again, right, with that, uh, especially with the purple Pikmin down air. Yeah. But essentially, uh, right there, we just saw it. So the up smash, Wolf Nair beats out up smash. So Olimar can't anti-air Wolf's Nair with up smash or forward smash. He has to just get out of the way of the Nair. So if you have Olimar cornered, your Nair is essentially a free ticket in the like close quarters with the um, with Olimar. Ooh, we saw Jet Lock into the forward smash there. These two frames on point from the buzz. Ooh, the up smash gonna scoop him up and take the stock. All right. I feel like a lot of this match is going to be how well can DeBuzz just kite Stock Taker, build up that damage, keep stage control as being a constant battle, and then Stock is just going to keep following him. He's going to constantly nail, we're going to constantly see forward tilt and dash attack to try and break out against the Pikmin. That's another thing that's so good about Wolf. That dash attack, like, is the size of... <laughs> it's so big. It reaches so of the stage. far. Like, it, it, he just, he lunges so far forward, right? And, like, it has so much cross-up potential. It has so much gap-closing potential. It's such a great move. You can comp, like, at certain percent, you can combo into up air off of it. There's a down air. Unlike the Olimar smash attacks, his aerials are act like sword moves. So they'll they'll beat out, like, Nair and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like a really stubby sword, but, like, you have to respect it as such. A sword, nonetheless. The purple Pikmin gone. Did he call it back in time? Yes, he did with the whistle. That, that was a very important down B. Okay, and Stocktaker just slashing it up, keeping the pressure on with the uh, the dash attack. I mean, he's slowly bringing his way back in this. He hasn't taken too much damage. Feels like he has somewhat control here. Okay, punish that uh, get up attack. Gonna put the laser or the blaster for the cherry on top. Oh wow. Okay, the up smash. Wow, with Cute. no rage or a little bit of rage. It's just starting to clock in now, but in general, not a lot of damage. And majority of Wolf's aerials help break off the Pikmin. And yeah. I feel like that's going to be huge because DeBuzz, he needs to make sure that he's either just retreating aerials or purple Pikmin throwing in order to get that retreating damage. Yeah, another thing, too, is Almar's out-of-shield options are fairly slow. Up smash is frame 12. His grab is just slow because it's a tether grab. So you can actually, like, fair and nair on Almar's shield, like, pretty reliably and still have like somewhat of a mix-up after if you're going to spot dodge or go into shield. A okay, very uh, aggressive side B there. I don't know if that was like an input error for a blaster or not. Sometimes that happens. Trying to come in above with the Nair. Oh, gets a dash attack, gets his opening. He could get a down smash here on the ledge. Yeah, okay, went for the forward smash. Some kind of smash attack, right? Right, forward smash. I like it just because we've seen DeBuzz doing a ton of jumping here, so at least would have been able to pick him up. Ooh, gets an air opening. All Where's right. the double jump? Going to use it to throw both purple Pikmins, and Ad is going to give him a lot of breathing room, but the two purples are still online. Oh, man, I thought yo, that was up smash. Yo, he wants ah! his forward smash so badly. All right, what's the pick? DeBuzz, very smart, opting to stick around and shield, wait for his Pikmin to all return to him. I like the reflector. Stock Ticker didn't reflect anything, but he showed it to him. So, oh, no, the sus, the eye. He was probably, like, trying to dash left yeah. or walk left or some, something to the and left And he there. even knew it. As soon as it connected, he just started giving the nod. Yeah. Game one goes to the buzz pretty handedly, but that was still a pretty messy fight. Like, Stock kept himself in the running. Oh, yeah. Stock was making it very clear he wasn't going down without a fight. And that was really close, honestly. Like, like I said, even when Almar... When Wolf has that rage and Olimar's on the ledge at like 50%, Olimar is sweating. <laughs> you can, there's a multitude of things that can happen to you that can just destroy your stock. Sweet spot back air for any smash attack, like, or not up smash, but like forward smash, down smash, um, a lot of things. 
yeah. a fair setup in the back here. Like, there's there's so many things Wolf can do to kill this character at um, low, uh, mid percents. So the game two to Town and City, how are you feeling about this pick? It's going to give Stalktaker a lot more room to work with. Uh, maybe he wants more strength on his ledge trap. Going to have that Final Destination-esque pick. Maybe he's just comfortable with the platform layout. Definitely look like it's working out for him really well so far. A lot of these uh, lingering Nair ledge traps, usually a very common option to pick that covers multiple options, gets the damage, and really resets the ledge situation. Ooh, even so fair to pick on through the pick lane. Like these, so these two have played a few times, and I feel like every time they play, Stock gets a better idea of how he needs to use his tools. It seems like he has the game plan fairly early on here. Like, I'm really curious to see how this is going to change. Ooh, not even Town and City is going to save him from that. I, th I really thought he was going to save All right. Blue Pikmin, the real champion, the real unsung hero. Yeah, I, I actually thought he was still alive. I'm very surprised he died, and like, he died in quick fashion. Like, that was, like, not even close. You know what I mean? <laughs> man, Blue Pikmin be hitting the gym. You really do. Oh, man, and look at this. Olimar is just... Oh, he saved the jump, and he air dodged right for the platform. Great play, but the two-frame from the buzz again and again. This offstage pressure, man. The buzz is really making it count. Like, Stock went for every possible option, and the buzz just continued to develop answers. Yeah, he, he even air dodged to the platform on the way out, man. I don't, I don't know how much more you can go for. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, on this stage, Wolf had everything. The buzz took it all away. The buzz calling out all these jumps, all these options, getting all these two frames. He's playing so clean right now. There's the purple coming in, almost like an anti-air tool with that side B purple throw. And right now, Stocktaker just can't find a way in. Seems to be rushing, trying to get the kill. Goes for that YOLO back air. Now deep. He's got to make something happen at this point. Oh, the cross-up doesn't matter. The buzz not going to fall for it. And two purples are online here. There's the whistle with the jump, but the anti-air up tilt will get the call out. All right, Stock's got a lot of work ahead of him if he's going to try to make any damage here in game two. He's already sitting at 100 and counting. We yep. see the blue back throw for more damage. Understandable, because he's going to just go in right for the spike in game two, going into Buzz pretty quickly. Man, the Buzz is very, very much on point with uh, with these down airs. We see the, the down airs and the down tilt two frames on the up Bs, the side Bs. Like, I just... I almost feel like you, you character switch for a straight curveball just because the buzz is playing particularly clean against your character's like recovery tools, right? And judging by the call of Paulo Tana, it seems that's exactly where we're, we're going to be seeing. I feel like the character switch justified, but a character that the buzz understands very well. Yeah. Um, Paulo Tana, I mean, you, you are, again, I, I always like to point out Paulo can struggle. Um, in a sense where you have to play very much different. Uh, Rising Nair is going to be very hard to hit Almar unless Almar is challenging you air to air. If Almar stays mostly grounded, then you're not going to, it's going to be really hard to hit Rising Nair. So you got to really sink some of these bears and these fares really low or just go for more grounded options as Palu, which is definitely very possible. And like right off the bat, we've already seen how Debuzz changes his game plan based on the character. Multiple times we've seen Order Call come in just so we can break out of those Nairs, and that's super important. Ooh, almost catches the grab on the normal get up here. Now, honestly, not too bad of a game. And you saw that fair, right? Did not connect on to the Almar because he's so short. Town and City, not going to be enough. This blue Pikmin up throw, so, so strong. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, man. The buzz <laughs> has just been so good with maintenance his Pikmin. It's just always threatening with a purple Pikmin for damage. Blue has just always been alive whenever the buzz needs his throws. These down airs be on point, bro. He is getting so much two frames, like with down air and down tilt. Like, no matter the character, he's even showing um, to be proficient against the Politana teleport here. Oh, wow. You don't see uh, Almar jab all too often. Yeah, no, it's, it's been coming it's up pretty seldom good. late. It's not bad. It's like, when you get so much off of up smash, why not just up smash anytime you'd want to jab? Yeah. Generally that, speaking. That Olimar up smash, yes, it does indeed hit behind Olimar. So right there, ooh, jab block, big damage with the purple into the up air, 74%. Hello. And this is, uh, this is looking like a wrap, gents, ladies yeah. and gents. Oh, hey, wait, we got the up air. Oh, a lot of warp cancels. All right. <laughs> This is Stock's last stand. Let's see how he can make it work. Already. I know, I know, Tech. Fear me. <laughs> <laughs> if he can do something with those, what's gonna really matter? Because the buzz 
he's already sizing up Venia, seeing how he can try and do the same, because he's going to get his 3-0 victory over Stocktaker. Leaving Stocktaker 69 out at fourth place tonight. Still an amazing.